We love you, Wesley. Looking at my watch, think it's about that time. Yeah. What's good, Bully Fam? TVK West back with another video. Yes, sir, man. And today we got um, day 29 for Miss Effie, man. Day 29, y'all. So uh, what we're going to do is, you know, I got the belly laps uh, pregnancy test. We're not going to do that because right here I got the handy dandy ultrasound machine. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to Shackle Broken Kennels, man. He always had this, man. This is the contact. I think it's like 1500 bucks now. But um yeah man. So he told me that he got it. He know he normally uh uses it and he goes to the vet to get confirmation. But I'ma just go ahead and bust her out and show y'all real quick so we can get a quick confirmation on Miss Effie. As you can see, it's a whole little laptop joint, yo. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hold on, y'all, let me set it up right quick. Let me hook it up. We got Effie right here. Should take about five, 10 minutes. Get some quick results. I'm not much of an ultrasound guy, y'all. You know, I usually wait till day 40, day 35, till I see a baby bump, like, kind of old school. But hey, man, if you could, uh, you know, use your partner's machine to check, then why not, you feel me? Because um, there's plenty of people who do ultrasounds. Uh, Britmore Animal Hospital, they do the ultrasound for like 100 and something, I think 160 bucks or something like that. It's also a few lo uh, local guys out here. Like, I got a buddy of mine who would do it for 60 bucks. You know what I'm saying? So, and he'll come to your house for 100 You know what I'm saying? But, <sighs> like, if I didn't have this, or I'm going to have to go off of how, you know, Effie looks. i say it's a good chance she took the nipples are, it's like, bright pink. They perky. Um, I ain't going to lie, she's not really showing too much. But we are barely on day 29, you know what I'm saying? Uh, dog don't show till like 30, day. If it's a full litter, then it probably will start showing th uh, day 35. But if it's just like on some normal stuff, like who knows, maybe four to six or whatever, four or less, um, you should see that baby bump around day 40, man. But yeah, hold on, let me plug this up real quick. <laughs> Really fam, we had to switch cameras, man. My other camera was doing the uh, that little line glitch stuff, you know, when you film in the screen and you can't really see, so I had to switch cameras real fast. But all right, so now we're gonna apply the probe gel. Uh, see, this is the probe gel that comes with the machine. Um, you can easily order some more on Amazon. I'm pretty sure the brand doesn't matter as long as it's salt free and hyperallergenic. Okay, so let's see what we got. I'm gonna put a little bit on the dog. guys so what you're looking for is canals on this screen it would be like a black circle with possibly a little something in the circle so as you can see guys we got one two three four these are right here are all the puppy canals Yeah. 
here. say exactly how many y'all y'all know uh just i mean the ultrasound is not the act most accurate but you definitely see we got some in there y'all so hard to see me y'all I'm sorry about that but I've already confirmed we definitely saw some eggs in here but uh just for a quick tutorial for everybody who always asks themselves what in the hell are they looking for so what you're looking for is Right here at the top part. My bad, y'all. If you keep moving right here, y'all can't see. All right, so you're looking for right here at the top part. Um, this is canal area right here. You can see it's the egg right there. But that's what you're looking for. The black canal with the circle inside. Yes, indeed, man. So y'all see that uh. We definitely got at least, I say three to six pups, but uh, you know, we just have to wait and see. I mean, uh, I could still get an ultra, I mean, uh, x ray machine, x ray test on day 52 to 55, so we can actually see the skeleton. That's, that's uh, a better way to confirm how many you have, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the ultrasound is most commonly used just to confirm. That is something in there, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, sir, man. Shout out to my boy Jason at Shackle Broken Kennels, man, for letting me use this machine. Uh, it's like my second time using it, uh, third time using it. I like it, man. It's a good machine, bro. Uh, I got newer machines with uh, a much better, uh, a clearer screen, you know what I'm saying? So, this one is not the newest, but. As you can see, it's not the cheap one either. Um, the, uh, they got some new ones out there, y'all, that's handheld, real small. Look like, you know, eight inches or something, six inches. And uh, you can also go with one of those. I've also seen where they have a probe. It's like a wireless probe, and it hooks up to your phone. Bluetooth hooks up to your phone and you put this on your dog in jail and it'll show up on your screen on your camera on your phone. So I haven't tried those, but yeah man, I'm just happy that we confirmed man. Brody times Effie on the way, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yes sir. Yes sir. <laughs> yeah man. This, this is a big this is big for us for us over here at TVK, man. Uh it's gonna be some some great Grinchy looking Grinchies, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my dog does not have Grinchy. She does look like a Grinchy. Uh, Brody does not have Grinchy. He looks like a Grinchy. And this is just a, a small part of what we got going for our plans in the future and what we're going to do with these Grinchy looking Frenchies, man. we also coming up with a name. We're going to start our own line. And I'm not going to lie, I am going to apply some Grinchy blood into this right here to, uh, you know, solidify. So. But y'all gonna see what it look like before the Grinchy blood gets added. And all those y'all gonna be able to vouch that, yeah. Official, the official. Cause it might not make sense now, but when these puppies drop, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? But yeah, so just want to confirm that real quick. Uh, we'll probably do the belly laps test on Miss Maya because I believe she's coming in heat, man. She not. She really in the beginning stages, but let's take a look at Maya right quick. All right, y'all, hold tight. All right, Billy fam, we got my girl, Miss Maya, right here. 
Um, now, so as far as her ovula, it is swelling, but it's not like in that full swell mode. You feel me? Like her nipples is perky. Like she looking like she's trying to come to heat. But we're not fully there yet, y'all. So I'm just waiting, just waiting. You know what I'm saying? So look, as far as my y'all, um, y'all know we're supposed to be uh, breeding to this boy TBK Ike, right? We're supposed to be breeding to TBK Ike, so. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all, because at first it was, you know, all based off of the tri gene, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to hit her with Ike, so I could get me a nice full tri litter or whatever, right? But then I started thinking, like, possibly, you know, I could go with my boy, young boy, because he does carry two copies of tri, and as far as, uh, Mr. TBK Ike, uh, he does carry Brindle. His mom is a black Brindle, so um, as y'all know, this dog right here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, does not carry Brindle. Since both dogs carry the Brindle, it's really like no point in trying to avoid it unless I was going to start out with a different camp to a guaranteed dog with no Brindle, no pie. So, I don't know, man. What y'all think, man? I do got another option, man. All right, my boy over at Get Paid Frenchies, he has a tri Merle male named Uzi. Dog out of Kansas City. And uh, Uzi has dropped a litter. He had a couple of his kids is over there at the homie Delgic house. He had a litter with uh, TBK Nikki. So he does, you know, I know his dick work. I know he's producing. So, what y'all think, man? Y'all, y'all, let me know in the comments, man. What would you do? Cause one thing I can say is that y'all know I don't have to say it, but you know he's a tri Merle, and uh, his bone is nowhere near compared compared to Young Boy or Mr. TBK Ike. So it's basically a decision uh, based on color or bone. What would y'all do? Would y'all go with Young Boy? Would you go with Ike? You know, they both got Brindle. Um, but, you know, we got that bone coming in. Cause you can see uh, Miss Maya is a she-male. She is, you know, uh, she does have definition. She not just some big fat wrinkly dog. You know what I'm saying? She got muscle. And then, or would you go with Mr. Uzi? You know what I'm saying? Straight color, guaranteed to have no Brindle, no pie in your litter. But the bone won't be as much as you, you know, you might like. So, what would y'all do, man? Let me know. Drop a comment. Let me know what you would do if you was in my situation. Come on. Boy, see how cut you are. Look at that, man. This is direct Cardi daughter, by the way. R.I.P. Cardi. Um, For those who are new to the channel, I have... Every dog in my yard I produced except for Mr. Landlord, my exotic bully. I bought him from uh, Risk Taker Kennels. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, this is my only direct Cardi daughter. Everybody in my yard is a descendant of Miss Cardi, y'all. Everybody in my yard. This is the only correct, uh, direct Cardi daughter, though. Everybody else is a granddaughter or a grandson. Including young boy. Man, y'all know we still got Mr. Uh, Blue Sunt over at my partner Jeremy house. So, that's a direct Cardi daughter. But, also to give y'all a little bit more clarity on that decision. Um, so, as far as TBK Ike, that would make the puppies uh, two times Lou Ferrigno. If y'all remember your Lou Ferrigno, for those you might want to go back to my older videos and see... Lou Ferrigno was an uh, extreme try Frenchie that I had straight out of Cali from Royal Kingdom Bullies. Okay, so um, we got that. And then if we uh, bred to Cardi, 
I mean, <laughs> if we bred to young boy, we would get uh, two times, no, three times Cardi on the pet. So would you go with TBK Ike to get that two times Blue Ferrigno? Or would you go with Mr. Young Boy and get that three times Cardi? You know what I'm saying? Or would you go with Mr. Uzi over at Get Pay Frenchies to make sure you have no brindle, no pie? Y'all let me know in the comments, man. All right? Decisions, decisions, man. We got to make an executive decision. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all. Damn, look at that fly trying to bite my dog. I mean, that, that bee. She wasn't even tripping. Hope I ain't got no beehive back here. Yes, sir, man. But just want to give y'all a quick update on my girl, Maya, man. Come on, Maya. She, she ain't feeling this heat at all. Back in the house. Look at that definition, fam. Look at this dog, bro. This is the true definition of a Frenchie, man. I know, a little skinny little joint. You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all. Let me get up out of here. Let's get back in the crib. I just wanted to shoot this video real quick. Come on. I need to go to the post office, to the bank. And I need to go open up the shop. So I'm going to get to it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. Go ahead and like this video, man. And uh, keep y'all updated, man. All right. Miss Maya, with the, almost in heat. All right, peace. I'm out of here. Gone. Love you, Wesley. Looking at my watch, think it's about that time.